Welcome back to Let's Play Sin and Punishment. Last time, Saki, Achi, and Iron were fighting back tons of ruffian and armed volunteer forces as they were trying to take over an armed volunteer transport. However, things got a little too hectic and they had to fall back into a cargo elevator. There, that should get the elevator moving. You think there are to us? Maybe, but they're probably more worried about the rockets. I hear voices up above. I'll check it out. Just keep the elevator moving. Come. All right, so now second real level, and I hate this level because it's kind of annoying. By kind of annoying, I mean really freaking annoying. You also gotta jump over those little barrel things when they fall down at you. Get bonus, all right. Come on, and they will actually hurt your enemies in addition to you. That's why you gotta be extra careful. I feel like I am not doing too well here. Just trying to focus. All right. And yeah, as I said, the pacing of this game is kind of ridiculous. Like I can't even do dedicated intros and outros. Or well, directly I can, but eh, 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 eh. Also gotta watch out for those red things on the ground. That means a grenade has been tossed. And, you know, if you get hit by a grenade, you take damage. As what tends to happen with grenades. Okay, we got a ruffian commander. I thought he was actually closer to me than what he really was. Come on. Wait, I should just lock on to him. That way when I hit these back, Okay, I should actually focus on not dying. Ah, crap. My death is imminent. Oh, well. I did my best. I have no regrets. Holy crap. Okay, uh, can one of my bonuses be help? That would be, like, really pleasant. And that was Radon. That giant monster thing, Mecha. All right, so now we got these guys. It's best to just stay in one spot, and I need that life. Totally not worth it. Okay. This is so stressful. Yes, okay. I'm doing a lot better than expected. I'm kind of happy. Transport. Iron, take the control. Hurry, Saki! Whoa! Hold on! All right, so Ruffian's commander, Radon. Ah, oh, crap! I'm not doing that good of a job against Radon. Yeah, I, I am. I'm seriously not doing that good of a job. So yeah, get back, get back. You don't know me, like that. Fall off, you stupid beast. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. It's wise to not stand directly underneath him. Like what I'm doing. All, all the crap I'm doing right now, don't do. Yeah, see? Like this, when he's, when he's doing that little dive attack, that's when you want to hit him. And that's when you want to just stand and take stupid damage. Like so. Okay, wow. I could have handled that a lot better. Alright. Triple A. I know I- oh wow, I got 11 credits? Oh yes, I am doing good. Okay. Well, I'm doing good credit-wise. Game-wise, yeah, that could have gone a lot better.
Yeah, see, he's just really easy. Like, if you just, you know, don't do what I did and get up all up in his grill as he's attacking. Yep, that was Radon. Simple stuff. My research materials. How could you? So you're the leader of these killers. Caught you up. Stop. He's one of the rebels. Let me take him. He's only human. Now's our chance to test the power of the blood you gave me. Alright, armed volunteers captain, Kachua. So yeah, we got all these things flying at us because she's an angry psychic. And as angry psychics are known to do, they are known to throw the bodies of their allies at you. And yeah, pretty much you just want to, you know, try to stay alive. And just look cool as you're doing it. Okay, so now she has another little attack going on. Simple stuff, really. Just keep killing them. And then... Oh, she wasn't about to do that yet. Oh, whatever, I can just keep building up my hits so I can get another credit. I believe it's one credit for every hundred hits. Okay, she's throwing a plane at us now. That's just really freaking rude. Crap! Screwed up! There we go. You want to time up that sword slash so you hit her as she's charging at you. And thus, Kachua was defeated, even though we only met her for about 10 seconds in the opening cutscene. I like how this takes place in Japan, yet everybody speaks English. Okay, Saki, show me what you've got. Yeah, the more I'm watching this, the more it's setting into me that I'm going to have a lot to explain in the descriptions. But yeah, now we're fighting like, uh, I don't, I don't even know what the hell happened to Kachua right now, but we are Mecha Saki, not an actual description. That's just what I'm calling him. Because that's pretty much what he is. He's Mecha Saki. And Kachua, still not all that hard. So yeah, you just want to keep strafing and, you know, go right into her little slashes and just stay shooting. Stay shooting. And she will fall soon enough. Right about... Oh, crap. Come on, you only have 12 HP left, damn it. Right there. All right, she's dead. Yay! I'm celebrating the death of this random chick. Oh, crap. All right, so now she's hiding Kachua. Oh, crap. Oh, my sword slashes, they are not good. Okay. I'm screwing up. But I can still salvage this. No, I can't. Come on. Damn it, Saki! Come on, Mecha Saki. You got this. One just. I don't got this. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> it's too intense for me. Alright, she has been defeated. Oh my god, that was a- oh crap, she has another four! <laughs> oh man, I was not prepared. I am dead. Why do I keep dying? Please continue.
Okay, as long as you double tap to dodge, you will be fine, as you can see there. Ooh, that was intense. But I managed in the long run. That's all that matters. Doggy! Doggy! We can't go near him yet. Is that... Is that Socky? We can change him back, okay? Just not now. We're the only ones left. Everyone else is dead. Damn it! Will there be fallout from the death of the armed volunteer commander, Kachua? Will we find out just what happened to Saki, and will he be able to be changed back? And are Arin and Achi alright after Saki's attack? Well, okay, the answer to those last two questions, I mean, well, yeah, Achi did say that Saki can be turned back, just not right now. And, you know, that purple orb that showed up in the sky that flew away, that was Achi and Iron. You know, they teleported. That's a thing. But the answer to that first question will be explained next time. So, stay tuned for the next episode of Gundam, I mean, Let's Play Sin and Punishment.